Living here in Arizona, you already know it's hot and it's dry, and that's just in the winter. Our summer months can be brutal, and this summer, no exception. And yes, we're heading for another drought. So we know what to do to protect ourselves, cover up, drink lots of water. But what about our wildlife? How do they survive the summer months? There is a way for you to give them a fighting chance. Joe Curry is the Habitat Planning Program Manager for Arizona Game and Fish. And Joe, we gather here every year asking for people to give us money so we can continue to give our wildlife water. First of all, let's talk about the amount of catchments you guys have across the state. How many do you have to maintain? There's approximately 3,000 of them across the whole state of Arizona. Um, they range from right here where we can drive up to them to way up on the top of a mountain where we have to use a helicopter to access them. Now, I know the catchments, uh, they were created years ago. Matter of fact, uh, this is one of the originals here. How important is it to our wildlife to have these catchments and to keep them filled with water? It's extremely important um, the, as the history shows that it's getting drier and drier and drier and so it's more important to supply water to these wildlife. Um, just like me and you, we need a gallon of water a day to yeah. survive and we're inside with air conditioning. They don't <laughs> yeah. get either of those. Right. So um, it even requires more water for them. Okay, let's talk about the amount of water. Last year, um, hottest on record, we all know that. This year they're predicting it to be even hotter. Um, based on what you know from last year, how many gallons of water do you think you might need this year? I'm suspecting we're going to go towards 3 million gallons. What? We We <sighs> hauled about 2.4 million gallons last year using volunteers and our crews and I don't think we're going to um, even stand close to that. Our previous record before that in 2002 was 1.4 million gallons. So Whoa, it's you shattered. Be just crazy. Yeah, you shattered that one. Let's talk about how difficult it is to get the water to some of these catchments. Very expensive, not only just maintaining the trucks, but some catchments have to have helicopters come in to haul the water. Right. Um, so, yeah, like I was saying, there's catchments that are way up on the tops of mountains for bighorn sheep and we literally have to drive hours to get to just the landing site for the helicopter to fly the water up to them. And last year we spent over a half a million dollars in, in helicopter fees just hauling the water for a helicopter to, to help these animals survive the summer. Okay, without these catchments, what would happen? We would lose hundreds, if not thousands of animals. John, how many species of animals are we trying to save here in Arizona? Yes, yeah, so here at the Arizona Game and Fish Department, we manage over 800 wild native species that call the state of Arizona home. So anything from quail to mule deer, bighorn sheep, snake, squirrel, any size, any shape, they rely on this water. Joe was explaining to us how difficult it is to get water to some of these catchments, but the cost is astronomical, especially for last year. Lots of repairs. What are you expecting this year? What is the need? Well, it was record breaking last year. We're expecting we're on track to break more records this year, and it can be even more expensive. As mentioned, this water isn't just hauled via land, it's hauled via helicopter in some cases. So on a normal year, they'll average about $200,000 in fees for helicopter hauling. Last year they did over $500,000. So that just gives you an idea right there of how expensive this can be. And if we were at half a million dollars last year, or we're on track to break records this year, it's going to be even more expensive, even more costly. Without the funds that, uh, th that our viewers help raise and without the volunteers, uh, where would our li wildlife, what, what would the outlook be for them? It would be grim because they rely on this water. This is life-saving water for them to get them through the hot, dry summer. So we would do this regardless, but when your viewers step up and donate to us and really help out, uh, it just means so much more and allows us to offset costs from other areas to make sure that these animals have the life-saving water they need to get through the hot, dry summer. You can help give wildlife a fighting chance. Donate today at sendwater.org or text the word sendwater to 41444.